Hey, what's up everyone? Over the past year, we've been sharing our journey of building a fat fendered hot rod, a 1944 coupe. Now, I realize not everyone has the time to watch the whole series, especially if you want to learn about metal shaping or English wheeling. So, I'm going to give you a crash course in English wheeling so that you can start fabricating your own panels. We're going to keep this short and sweet, get it down to the basics so you can get rolling. You're going to need an English wheel. That's probably important because that's a topic of this video. If you've bought one, great. If you're thinking about buying one or building one, I built this one. You have to consider a few things. What are you going to be doing with your English wheel? If it's a few small panels over the weekend, one-time thing, you can probably get away with a smaller English wheel. But you have to make sure that the frame is stiff enough so that these wheels compress the metal properly. Because as you turn down the adjuster and the frame separates, it's not going to give you the results you want. 